Hi, entertaining universe. So, what does today have in store for me? Well, there's a few things that today has in store for me. For example, I might or might not be starting to read the fourth compendium of Walking Dead. That may happen or may not happen. The, the agenda is to finish, you know, watching Terminator, the Dark Fate movie, then poss possibly watching both Maleficent films, the True Grit film I got, and finishing up finishing up season three, or getting as close as I can to finishing up season three of Westworld. Now, there's a whole bunch of other things that I could do today as well that don't include those specific things. You know, it could be watching a Disney princess film. It could be, you know, doing some other watching of things, or reading, or watching YouTube videos. It could be all sorts of things that I do today, but... The main focus that I want to I want to complete today is getting through as many you know shows and or movies and or reading a little bit as I possibly can in on today, which who knows if that's going to happen or what's going to happen, but that's that's the general plan I have for today is to you know watch those movies, maybe finish getting close to watching or finish watching. Getting close to finishing the Westworld show, even though it may be a while. You know, there's an episode of of WandaVision I haven't watched yet. I'd probably watch that. You know, it's a lot of watching today. Whether it's a YouTube video, whether it's a movie, whether it's a TV show, whether it's... And maybe I even read a little bit and eat and do all the... Necess necessary things that I need to do today on this, you know, 24th day of January 2021. You know, a lot of things are probably going to need to happen today that I want to get done. And I will do my best to get as many of them as these things as I want done. Now, I know you guys think that I'm being lazy watching all these movies and, you know, watching all these TV shows and reading all these books and stuff like that, and eating all the food that I eat, or, you know, things of that nature, but that's just what I do every single day, and I'm going to continue to do it because I have, I want to, no one's going to tell me, you know, maybe you guys want to give me guys and want to help, guys, give me advice and want to help me be a better person, but that's just not me, that's not who I am, that's not what I want to be. You know, there's so many stories out there of people doing amazing and great things. For me, those amazing and great things are studying up on films, studying up on YouTube videos, studying up on, you know, on, on books and whether they're crime books or they're, you know, possibly looking into what to do during the apocalypse if the, you know, apocalypse, the zombie apocalypse ever were to happen, you know. It's all these things that I study up for. And it may not make sense to you because you don't, you don't believe in me, but this is, this is my world. This is, you know, this is how I'm going to live my life. I'm going to live it by watching every single movie that I can. Or watching every single TV show, even if it's not you know, idealistic, or anything like that. I mean, Disney has done such a great job with all of its films, whether it's the princess films, whether it's, you know, whether it's whatever it is, even when they bought Marvel, and when they bought, you know, they bought uh, Star Wars, I mean, Lucas Films, you know, all these things. And it's just amazing to to learn all these things, whether it's to learn about dinosaurs, even though they exist millions and millions of years ago, 67 million years ago, you know, learning about archaeology, so to speak, learning about, you know, Julius Caesar and history, and learning about all these princesses, whether it's Mulan, whether it's, you know, Aurora, or... Tatiana or Snow White 
or any of these princesses, even though some of them may it may not actually exist, even Cinderella and the glass slipper thing, the glass slipper uh, when she lost it after the ball, all these things. There's something to learn in each, each, each and every one of these films that I've ever watched or ever will watch or anything of that nature or even TV shows. There's some, you know, his, there's some, something that you can learn from watching The Walking Dead or, you know, watching Westworld or Game of Thrones or, you know, or WandaVision or any of these any of these shows that exist in this world today. And I'm not just talking about that. Even Big Bang Theory. Or Supergirl. Or Flash. Or any of these. There's some, some you know, form of information in there that can be helpful in life. I'm not saying we're all superheroes. Or we're all Prince Charmings. Or we're all, you know, princesses. Or anything like that. I'm just saying there's a small part of each one of these films or each one of these TV shows or each one of these books that I read that can help me in the long run compared to when everyone else wants me to do something that I'm not capable of doing or that I don't want to do. Movies play a huge part of my life. TV shows play a huge part of my life. Reading books plays a huge part of my life. I'm just saying that, you know, not everything is, is, needs to be done the way you guys want it to be done. It, it can be done right from your own room or from your own, um, uh, what is, what is it called? Office or whatever it may be from home. That's what I'm trying to get at here. You don't have to have a 9 to 5 job to be the best version of yourself. You don't have to go to to a place like Target or a grocery store or work at any of these places to have to make money. You can make money right from your own home. It may it may seem like it's lazy, it may seem like it's, you know, not the best choice for every single person, but for me I want to work from home. I want to be, you know, the best version of myself by watching all these films, watching all these TV shows, and learning something from it, and watching all these YouTube videos and stuff like that. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to edit my vlogs anytime soon, or, you know, do something that is wild and crazy anytime soon because we're kind of we're still in in a pandemic basically even though it's been almost a full year since the pandemic started look I don't expect life to go back t to normal anytime soon and whether the vaccine works to the best of its ability or it doesn't I don't expect the world to go back to the way it is until probably closer to the end of this year maybe early next year you know, there's a lot of variables that still have to go into into it in order to make, you know, the world the way it was before COVID happened in, in late 2019, even into like early 2020. There's still a long ways to go before we can actually, you know, go back to concerts and go back to, you know work full time or doing work from home or you know going to events like Comic Con or or VidCon or you know concerts or boarding events it's going to take a while before we can actually do that stuff in person again and make sure that everyone is safe and not everyone's going to die from this this virus and you may not understand that and that's okay. You don't have to get my reasoning, but I'm just saying these there is something to learn about reading a book. There's something to learn about watching a film. And there's something to learn about a lot of things. Like you we don't know if the if the world's gonna be taken over by robots or if it's gonna be overrun by zombies or vampires, even though most of those things probably don't exist. 
I mean, we know robots exist, but we don't know if zombies actually exist or if vampires exist or any of that stuff, even though, you know, films depict it as it could possibly happen, but it, that's not always the case. Anyways, I, I kind of rambled off from what I initially started this video with, which was, you know, what I was going to be doing today. And then I kind of started going off on, you know, on what my, what's, I love doing, which is watching films, watching YouTube videos, watching, you know, TV shows, and learning a little bit from those things. Now, with that being said, I don't have any actual birthdays to wish today, but if there is someone that does, is celebrating a birthday on this 24th day of January 2021, I know I said I would stop doing this, but if there's not a birthday that I have written down on on a list, then I'm probably not going to wish anybody a birthday. Except for this one occasion where there's no birthdays on that day. So, anyone who has a birthday on this day, happy birthday to you. And keep it real. Be the best version of yourself that you can be. And you're amazing. Ciao.